Hello, everyone. Welcome to TikTok Tuesday. I think the theme of this week is going to be like explicitly political because you guys sent in a lot of politics TikToks, these politically oriented TikToks. So let's let's check out some of these, okay? And then we're going to Washington D.C. to take back the White House. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. Okay, some of you guys are not gonna get what that's from. And now I feel really, really old. Do you recall that clip from the end of the Joe Biden versus Donald Trump debate where Biden kind of looked like he was only half present? Well, way back in 2004, 20 years ago, I didn't think we'd be starting this episode off with a history lesson, but here we are. 20 years ago, the governor of Vermont, Howard Dean, was running in the Democratic primaries, and he was kind of considered the, the popular outsider. He was well-liked by the people, he got a few early wins in, donors were coming to his campaign, like, things seemed to be pretty good. Then he gave a now-considered-to-be-legendary speech, where his voice broke during a cheer of jubilation at his own success. Not only are we going to New Hampshire, Tom Harkin, we're going to South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. And we're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! Yeah, that scream was a big meme in 2004. You heard it reposted all over the place in various online videos and like Newgrounds flash games. This is before YouTube. YouTube came around 2006. But that scream was posted all over the place as just this ridiculous sound clip that everyone knew what it was from and everyone knew what it meant. It meant that Howard Dean killed his campaign in like less than two seconds. After this, all of his support fell away and nobody gave a shit about him anymore. He even has a Wikipedia article titled, The Dean Scream. Man, what a blast from the past. Oh my God, I don't know if I've covered this on like a previous video or a previous TikTok Tuesday. I might have. Probably not on TikTok Tuesday, I would have remembered that, but I think I covered it on a video or a stream recently. We're gonna go over it again. Skibbity Biden. Please no. Biden. Oh no. Skibbity, skibbity Biden. Skibbity I'm gonna Biden. get copyright struck for this. That. Thank you, Col Colbert Report. Trump is using Hitler's language. God, I hate Zoomer humor. I hate this. I hate Zoomer humor. I hate what Colbert's turned into and what late night TV is now. I hate the internet. I hate, I hate all of it. I can't believe someone thought it was a good idea to make skibbity fucking Biden. Ask my Japanese French about from America. A flag. Cool. American Pillow. <laughs> says Nashville. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know why you guys want me to see that. Just a, just a cutie from Japan bringing back memorabilia. That was a giant American flag, though, damn. She seemed, like, more into it than a lot of people who are Americans, frankly. Oh. Gotta turn off that music. Biden on a healthy diet, drugs, and baby blood. Trump on McDonald's and Diet Coke. Okay, I get the joke. I get the This is, like, over ten years ago for Trump. He is not nearly this spry. I get the joke, though. It's pretty funny. Biden basically is a, a, a shriveled shell of who he used to be. As you know what? We will all be that one day. Everyone gets old. Nobody rules forever. That is just how it is. Would you mind being in a, a video? Oh. I've been filming, so I guess so. Uh, what are your thoughts on Donald Trump? Um, I think that he's a criminal. He probably shouldn't be running for president. <laughs> I think you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> Based. Man, I like how he uh, he did the cold open, right? In the middle of a store, even. Like, that was a Walmart, I think. So, like, he's already intruding on her space. And then he immediately goes sour when she says that she doesn't like Trump. Fucking hilarious, dude. My man, you're the one who started the conversation. So, thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. <laughs> Good job, Biden. Let's go lick the world, fellas. Slurp it up. Okay, I, I assume Biden being, you know, this this ancient man from way back in the day, when you licked someone back in the day, it meant that you beat them. Like, like you, you know, I licked that guy in the race. It means you, you beat him in the race, like, quite well. So Biden's lick the world is probably like, you know, let's go take on everyone and win. 
Yeah, okay, fair enough, but it's always gonna be funny coming from him. Out of my hair. Whoa! And I just so happen to be gay. Oh, okay. So you're so you're gay, Southern pride. Yeah. <laughs> Trump supporter. Wow. Dixie pride. A gay black confederate. A gay black rebel. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Now, interesting. How were you received with the others? Because I know um, they love me. You, they do. They love me. Okay. They, they love me. You have to understand. I've experienced more racism and prejudice from the left. <laughs> so, I mean, I can go on all day about the things that they. Let's call. be fair. The left's quite racist themselves. Yeah. Race traitor, self hater, racist, gay racist. But yeah, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. It's just so weird to see. <laughs> it really feels like one of those, you know, massive overcorrections where because you met some lefties who were uh, racist or homophobic towards you, and they exist. Don't let the left tell you they don't. They definitely exist. Now he's swung completely in the other direction, like way too far. Guys, you have to become an enlightened centrist. That's the way. Another debate one. Oh, wait. <laughs> So let's get that straight. What are you doing? Me more than just about any of them. <laughs> and that's based on every single bit of information. As far as Russia oh and my Ukraine, God. if we had a real... <laughs> You're going to be honest. I don't know what Kamala's chances for winning, but boy, am I glad Biden dropped out. That guy was not all fucking there, man. Oh yeah, this next one's fucking insane, guys. You got to see this. There's no audio, at least for this version of it. But uh, yeah, this chick got... Trump tattoo on her fucking forehead. Look at this shit, dude. Trump girl gets Trump tattoo. I hope it's not like... I hope it's fake. There's... Oh, God, it might not be fake. Oh, my God, dude. Why would you do this? What? Like... It doesn't matter if Trump wins or loses. This is fucking embarrassing to get Trump the best tattoo I've ever done. Oh, yeah? Guys, would you? Would you date her? Would you date the Trump chick? Like, it's not even your name on her forehead. It's it's Trump. Like, imagine that you're getting a blowjob from this chick, right? Like, you know, you're leaning back. You're getting, you're, you're getting the sloppy toppy. And it's just Trump on the forehead. I don't care how much you like Donald Trump. There's no way any guy's going for that. Like, I, I sincerely hope that that's fake because she might have completely destroyed her fucking life. Oh my God. If if Trump loses in 2024, that's going to be probably the worst tattoo that has existed in the history of tattoos. Like, that's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking up there, dude. Miss Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Chair, point of order. What's this? It's me. Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about um, somebody's bleach blonde, bad built, butch body, that would not the? be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? <laughs> Chairman, I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. I'm trying to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion I to strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not going to do this. Look, you guys. Earlier, literally just. Oh, you just, you just, you just voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at calm What's down. What's going on? Calm no, down. no, no, no. Because this I is what y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get clarification. Miss Crockett, you're not recognized. Miss Crockett, I can't hear you with your yelling. What's going on? No, don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk noise, and then you can't take it. Because if I come and talk shit about her, y'all gonna have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. All right, Chair. Chair, what okay. is happening? Yeah. Order. Exactly Chair like now recognizes. What the fuck did I just want? I, I need more context on this. What the fuck? Oh my god, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Or Congress. The AOC MTG fighting is embarrassing. The shouting match that included representatives Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alexandria Arcasio Cortez is becoming the norm on Capitol Hill. I must have missed this story. Damn. Okay, what, what's, what's the included video here? There's, there's a TikTok embedded right in the article. Do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just a, uh, I don't think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about... I, guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, ain't nothing. Oh, my God. 
Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath Would even you order. Order. <laughs> point of order. Mr. Point I do have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to, to take down Ms. Green's words. That is absolutely unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical band. appearance Lady of Wilson's another band. person? Are your move feelings hurt? Her words down. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? Don't even <laughs> play, baby. I hate girl. both of these bitches, dude. Move, and we're gonna take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then right here's what we just watched, yeah. About somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body that would not. Yep, 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 yep. Personalities, correct? Uh, a what now? <laughs> <laughs> right. So basically, Marjorie Taylor Greene opened the door to personal attacks, and then she gets the shit flung back at her, and she can't take it. Okay. I hate all of these fucking people, dude. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a joke. AOC is a joke. Neither of them are fit to hold any sort of office, and yet they are here because both sides are radicalizing beyond what is good. And I'm fucking tired of it all. That shit was funny, though. All right, that about does it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, at least as much as I enjoyed making it. Which, to be honest, with some of the crazier TikToks that I see, I don't enjoy it that much. <laughs> but it's usually a good time. Thanks for being here, everyone. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. I love you.